So if you've been watching our channel recently, um, you'll have seen we've done several episodes with the Starag Group and Lee Scott from uh, Starag about the transport um, and industrial sector, which is where they put a lot of their machines. In this episode, we're going to talk specifically about gears and stub axles. Um, Lee, manufacturing gears, it's changed a lot these days, isn't it? How do you do it on your machines? It's changed a lot these days, especially since the, uh, the introduction of power skiving. So power skiving means that you can produce the gear form significantly faster than, than, tra than traditional methods. So we, we look for products where you've, you've, got, um, you've got the gear form to produce, but you've also got other features to produce as well. And we're looking at a, a, single, uh, a single setup process. Um, two areas of, 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 of that power skiving, um, the machine and the software. Uh, what do you need on either of or both of those in order to be able to successfully produce gears as quickly as you say that you can? Well, as, as you said, it's a combination of machine and software. The machine itself needs to be very rigid and accurate in the first place. All the drives need to be completely synchronized to produce the power skiving process and give you an accurate gear form. If you can't do that, then you can't use power skiving. Um, like I say, we, we, we look to combine different processes as well. And then we look to link everything up to automation um, so, so that you've got a seamless flow. And the stub axles, we've done a bit of preparation as we always do before these um, these features. And you talk about here on a, on a stub axle how that is kind of like sat vertically and, 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 and turned almost on, on one of your uh, multitasking machines. It, could you maybe explain a little bit about that and why it's done like that and, and some of the kind of the fascinating areas to me of, of, of this topic? Well, if, if you look at a stub axle and a stub axle type of component, you've, you've got a shaft part that needs to be turned and then you've got a large sort of eccentric, unbalanced flange at, 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 at the other end that, that needs some milling and drilling often. So we're trying to combine all features together. If you sit a large component on on the machine table, you know, even though you've got your weight at the table, you've got this, uh, this, this axle part that needs to be turned. So we've developed a bridge process with a center in the top that holds everything down. So you've got a very stable process. So you can do your milling, drilling, turning very accurately. Um, on what machine would that be? And we talk about gears as well as those. Where are you or what machines are you positioning uh, for those markets? P particularly for the, for the smaller products, uh, they're, they're all the, the Hecate compact machines. But then we also do large products such as for wind energy, for example, where we would be using Bertier or Doris, very large machines for large gears, for example. 